Matt Holtquist here with the QuickBooks University. Hey, I wanted to show you a quick tip in QuickBooks uh, so you can see how long it takes for your customers to pay you. Uh, a lot of times when you're going in business, you know, day in and day out, you're busy. You, you know, you don't have a ton of time to be, you know, calculating things and figuring out, okay, you know, who's paying quickly, who's not paying. Um, and, you know, you just kind of, are sitting there hoping that uh, everybody's paying. You know, I get it. It gets hectic. It gets crazy. Uh, so I wanted to show you this quick and easy way uh, to look this up. And so why is this important? Well, obviously, you got to get paid in your business. And it's one of those things you really need to stay on top of to make sure that everybody is, you know, all your customers are paying in a timely manner. You know, and if you think about it, if you send out an invoice to a customer and it takes them, you know, 45, 50, 60 days to pay you, that's money out of your pocket for that 45, 60 days that uh, you could be using in your business. And so the quicker you get paid, the better. I mean, it's kind of common sense. And so this is a quick and easy way to see uh, on average, you know, how long it takes for your customers to pay you. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this here. Uh, the first way is if we go to customers and if you click create invoices, okay, and you look up here, you've got a couple tabs. Now y'all, you know, it, 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 it kind of pays to go through and just see what all the options are in some of these forms, uh, because there's some neat little options. Okay. So if you look up here, you see this button, it says average days to pay summary. So you click that and voila, you'll see. Now, this is all based on, you know, putting the invoice in QuickBooks and then when you get paid, recording the payment against that invoice uh, and it'll calculate this for you. So you can go through and see that, you know, Renee Barley, my goodness, 194 days. Uh, and then you got some really good ones. Uh, you know, this person's paying in five days, three days and so on. And so when you look down this list, you'll see an average of 31.76 days. Okay, so an average of 31.76 days is great. Well, I mean, it's not bad, but when you start looking at the individual details, I mean, you got some of these that are just, you know, outrageous. And so the average is 31.76 days, uh, but you've got some outliers that are really long and then some that are really short. And so you want to make sure that you stay on top of these uh, ones that take a long time. All right, so another way to, to look this up is if you go to the reports and go down to customers and receivables, you'll see that you've got the average days to pay summary here, and you've also got an average days to pay report. Okay, so this one breaks it down into more detail of each individual invoice. Okay, I don't know if you need to go to this much detail unless you're looking for something in particular, but in general, you know, this can be a pretty good report to run and take a look at from time to time to make sure that, you know, your customers are paying you timely. All right, so go get that cash. Again, my name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. Come on over and join us over there at qbuniversity.org where we've got 45 training videos that walk you through step by step uh, pretty much every aspect of how to use QuickBooks and, and not only just how to use, but why you do certain things in QuickBooks. Um, I work with clients day in and day out and help them understand how to use QuickBooks and how to interpret the information uh, that they put into QuickBooks. So I hope to see you over there.